Good Saturday morning, scrapbooking friends. This is Barbara. I am uh, coming to you from my newly de designed scrapbooking area. Um, and I wanted to talk to you today about the Power Project folders. Um, these have been in and out of stock because they're so popular among advisors and customers because they really help you organize um, your product collections. And um, I have found it to be really helpful to be able to pull out an entire folder that has pretty much all of the coordinating components of a, of a collection um, and you know just makes making layouts and coordinating the pieces of the layout so much easier. So let me show you what they look like. Um, they have recently come back into stock, which is another reason why I wanted to share this with you. Um, you get four in a pack uh, for $20, and the plastic that they're made out of is all high quality, um, photo safe. It's, you know, a very safe place to store your, um, your products. And it has quite a few pockets that you can choose to use in a number of ways. There are two square pockets in the front and then one rectangular pocket. And then there's one center pocket. And then there, there are two pretty large um, pockets in the back. And so you can choose to organize however works for you. Um, they also come with labels so that you can, um, you can detach them and add them so that if you store your um, project folders in a larger container like I do, you can like see them and see the collection name pretty easily. So, so many of you are so excited about the vitamin C collection and I have almost all of the pieces and I wanted to show you how I'm going to organize my vitamin C collection. Um, the first thing I would do would be to take the um, designer paper pack and the tone on tone paper pack and I can put those in the second section without any problem. Um, I'm going to keep the front page in front of each of the sections just to kind of distinguish them a little bit and I can put them right in the center section without any problem at all. I mean, there's plenty of room here. So that if you wanted to um, add a few pieces of coordinating solid cardstock because you wanted to have, you know, some of those be present with the um, collection together, you can do that. And in the two front pockets, I like to put um, embellishments. Now, these are the vitamin C embellishments. There are some loose, um, leaves in here. There's also some gem um, sticky embellishments. I'm going to leave them in this little Ziploc that um, they came in. You could always take the product labeling out of there if you felt like it was too bulky, but I'm just going to slide those right in the um, front packet so they're right there and accessible. And then I have the vitamin C variety mat pack which I started to un unwrap. Um, so you have two sizes, of course, you have four and a half by six and a half and four by sixes. So another way to organize this would be to put these two things, um, in each of the front pockets, the two separate, um, sizes. I'm just going to put them together and slide them in that front pocket there. I have the designer stickers and there is a three pack with this collection. So if you wanted to, you could separate them out. You could put one here, you could put two in the back so that you could you know, visualize them very easily. Um, I'll show you what that would look like. These um, sections are also large enough to put your um, either laser cut or layered cut borders that they have. I know they had one for vitamin C, but I didn't get those. Um, so do these fit right into the back very nicely. And that's that. So other than just labeling the top with the vitamin C collection, I have everything that I purchased for vitamin C all in one place, easy to pull out when I have a particular layout that I wanna do. Everything's in one, one folder so that um, I don't have to spend time going through a sticker box, going through you know, a paper box, going through an embellishment box. They're all right here. 
Um, and a question I get sometimes is, well, you know, when you've spun the collection down and you only have a few sheets and a few stickers left, what do you do with those leftovers? And basically, if there's like only one or two or three sheets of the paper left, I will actually move those into my color folders. I have folders for blues and reds and greens and oranges and, and purples, so I'll move those into those folders. Um, I may or may not put these in another section. I do still have the um, pods that I keep some of my stickers in um, from the old CM. So it kind of is up to you how you are going to deal with your little leftovers, but that's pretty much what I do. So I just wanted to update you on these, um, these power uh, project folders and I wanted to show you what they can do for you and um, the special is still going on where with a $125 order you can choose from either the grassland border punch or the sunshine punch um, that's going through Tuesday at one o'clock um, so if you're in an organizing kind of mood and you want to um, spend some time in your workspace and get things so that they're easy to access um, to help you move along with your scrapbooking um, these are a great tool to help you with that. So I hope you have a great weekend and I will be touching base with you soon. Take care.